key metrics for relationships for sales teams. Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading this. <laughs> um, number one, um, great metrics is overall relationship depth. You know, how many people at a company or organization are you speaking to? Absolutely, we've, we've talked a little bit about a ton of buyers and the person involved in the purchasing decision. If you're only talking to one, you're probably you're, you're really not in control of the deal. So let's let's dive deeper into this this account relationship completeness. Um, it's not all about depth. It's also about you know, hey, are you talking to the right people? Legal, C-suite, uh, marketing, sales. You know, are you talking to the right type of titles? Directors, managers, things like that. Um, relationship quality. Are you having an engaged two-way conversation or is it a one-sided conversation? Obviously, that that's a complete different different relationship, so you want to keep an eye on that. Then we talk about relationship frequency. You know, how often are um, we speaking with this um, account opportunity contact? Um, then we talk about um, then we talk about overall relationship score. You know, what's your overall relationship quality with with an account? Could be you know just a, a score, something like similar what's provided by Cloudflare Connect, right? 